Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Everspace, the roguelike space shooter where I'm slowly trying to progress through to ever deeper sectors in space. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to get further than Sector 2. Right now though, I'm in the final zone of the first sector, just about to jump into the second sector. Let's see how it goes. Right, so am I going to jump to the straight to the next sector or am I going to defeat these uh, outlaw scouts? I would kind of like to get to the next sector in relative peace and intact, but let's see what these are like anyway. And they're attacking that Terran fighter over there. Oh, no, it's a CMB fighter. They're attacking that guy anyway. So let's go and help him out. Maybe they'll take a lot of the uh, flak while I'm damaging. Of course, I don't want to actually shoot them by mistake. Which I thought I nearly did there. It seems to sound like one of them was actually complaining a bit, but... Right, that's one down. A nice big explosion there. And that's see another one down. Is that all of them? I'm sure there was another one around here, but... Maybe not. So, some nice credits. Always tasty. And some nanobots. So there we go. What else have we got in this uh, particular system then, or this particular area? Not too much. I do love these rocks, the way they just hang here. Oh, what's that? A trader ship. Now, for those of you that may or may not just have noticed, I actually released a Patreon page today. Uh, Patreon is a theme, something that allows you to support content creators. I won't talk about it too much right here. Instead, if it sounds something interesting to you or something you might want to check out, do have a look at the link in the video description it will explain everything you need to know so a trader here let's get up close and we can see what he's all about maybe we can get something interesting here I love the lighting effects as I come around there ship trade items now the downside is that this mostly costs uh, credits which I don't really like to spend I prefer to save them for permanent upgrades but getting some missiles here for 36 ore doesn't sound too bad does it I don't know how much ore I've actually got though we've well, we got 56 ore and I can buy five more missiles question is do I actually need missiles let's see how many I've got I've got 13 missiles and you can of course create some new ones yourself and they only require two ore to create. So far cheaper to build myself. Let's have one more of them. Keep it even. Keep the numbers even. And I guess, unless I want to use a scanning probe here, I'll be going off through the jump gate to the next sector. Oh no, what have we got? Some plasma field. Let's go there first. Get a bit of plasma. You never know when this stuff is going to come in handy. Of course, I don't want to stand, stay around it too long. Your vessel harvests plasma automatically when you are near. That's convenient. don't want to stay around it too long because I always run the risk of enemies appearing and that plasma cloud is now gone. Is that another one right there? If so, it's not marked. But it's exactly like the previous one and it is. So, I don't really know what we would use plasma for yet. I don't recall lecture actually ever using it previously, but nonetheless. Oh, I've zipped right through it. Oh no, that's got it. There's actually quite... Oh, I thought there was another plasma cloud there. I was about to say there's actually quite a lot of them here, but no. And I'm going to check out the big rock over here, I think. The big rock behind the trader ship. Maybe it contains something. It looks like there's away in there. Now keep boosting here is slowly using up my energy. You can see the little green meter below my reticle slowly disappearing and there it's gone. At this point if I get attacked I'll have very little in the way of offensive capabilities aside from the missiles of course. Now sometimes there's something useful in here. On the other occasion they're empty but let's see I'm hoping for some crystals. No crystals there maybe up here in here could there be some crystals in here is that the same same area I just went in probably the same area quite actually 
big inside these places, isn't it? Big enough to live in if it wasn't in space. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything. Oh no, just when you're about to give up. There we go, a tech container. And some light missiles. Thank you very much. So I can only carry a maximum of 20, just as well I didn't buy any or make too many more. The one I did make turns out to be a little bit of a waste, doesn't it? Uh, the GMB fighters. So I think that will do the job. And for the first time, pretty much ever, I'm going to head to the uh, second sector with a full hull and a full shield. Never happened yet. But unfortunately, we haven't got much fuel left. We can see I'm only down to a quarter of a tank. Every jump takes a bit of fuel. I don't know if the jump gate actually requires any fuel. Hopefully that powers how's the journey for you. I don't know if I'm facing the right way here. It looks like I'm actually facing the wrong side of the jump gate, but nope. I wasn't. Okay, so this is going to take me into Sector 2. And hopefully I'll last well, a little bit longer there. Look at that storm. Yeah, let's see indeed. Ah, oh, People with phase cannons, beam cannons, or whatever you want to call them, always are a problem. So many of them. Now, there's only one, but they got a nuisance weapon. Okay, got rid of them. Compound, good. Right, well, the shield will recharge itself, and I think that GMB fighter was about to come and give me For some a assistance there. Zone, this place sure sees a lot of action. The demilitarized zone is the boundary established between colonial and Okar claims after the war. The buffer zone is intended to last until a longer peace can be settled. Since the Okar had prior claim, they hold authority over the zone. The treaty stipulates no colonial fleet presence, although there are colonial mining interests at work in the area. And then, of course, the outlaw elements. Of course. Of course. Now, these areas do look really nice, don't they? I absolutely love how we can get so close to the planetary orbit here. A bit of a classic thing, perhaps a cliche, I don't know, in the sci-fi genre, space shooters genre, but it's lovely nonetheless. Something I'd certainly like to see a bit more of in Elite where you can get close to planets, of course, if you've got horizons, but I've often wondered why they don't play stations, they don't play stations or structures or even conflict zones this close to uh, planets. And I've been hanging around here too long, just drifting, and you can see there's some hostile contact just appearing there on the uh, heads-up display, and uh, they're just drones. So hopefully, unless they've got beam weapons, they're not going to be too much of a problem. He likes to complain, doesn't he? He like, certainly likes to complain. A bit more than, more so than me. All right, scrap. Lost a bit of the hull there, but I know I've got some nanobots anyway. Rather than constantly messing around, what I'm going to do is use just one of my uh, scan probes. And there we go. And we'll see if there's any goodies in the area. Container over there. And a container over there. Plenty of containers there. What's that? Is that any closer? Yes. Try to go to the ones closest first to save me constantly backtracking. Containers can contain anything, usually not tech orientated, but more, loot for me. more in the way of resources and loot, as you saw. Container two. The more stuff we get, the better upgrades we can actually build, and we'll have a look at building a few of them in just a moment because they are going to assist me in no end. As you saw, the drones, which are uh, can't even really scratch you in the first sector. Can do a little bit of damage here, and I certainly don't want to encounter too many fighters just yet. So, yeah. Tech containers, GMB fighters. There seems to be some structure up there, doesn't there? Mineable crystals, containers. So, plenty on here. Oh, look, that's one of the first times I've seen a larger. Uh, I see asteroid like that, or ice droid. I'm going to go over to that in just a minute. I've got to be careful here because if this, uh, if these containers actually belong to anyone, if they're attached to the structure, then I'll get into trouble first shooting them. Nothing in that one. I 
good bit of compound. Still don't know what that's used for. Damn, look at that. Damage your ship, a slight clip, and half your shield is gone, so be careful how you fly. Any more? Any more crystal? Oh, no, we're just about done there. I'm liking the music. What else have we got here? Let's get out. Oh, more mineable crystal. So I don't know how many sectors there are actually available in this game. It's something I haven't looked into too much myself. It's something I actually prefer to find out as I'm playing. I don't know how many of you are like that with games. I mean, with the mini-games, I prefer to go in completely blind with no, um, no assumptions, no expectations or anything like that. And it's perhaps one of the reasons why I wasn't too disappointed with No Man's Sky, dare I say it. Because I really didn't have any expectations for that game, other than it being a game that you can just travel around from A to B on. A pure exploration game. So in that regard, I wasn't particularly disapp disappointed, but I guess that's a chat for another time. we got another container here then. Waste not one dot. I like that. And this place has actually been destroyed, hasn't it? So, so it's always worth collecting all the resources that you can actually collect whilst you're free to do so, because later on you might not be free to do so. A Gatling gun too, yes, I want that. Uh, swap it for the pulse laser. Huh. So I've got two Gatling guns, but not to worry, we'll salvage the pulse laser. And a combat drone. Okay. I don't know how I deploy the combat drone, so. Oh! Clipping that wing again. Look at the reflections here. Very, very nice. Oh, a bit metallic though. Let's get out of there before I do myself some harm. So, what weapon have I got selected here? Gatlin and Gatlin 2 now. Would have preferred to have kept the pulse laser, but I didn't want to mess around too much to get that equipped. So I'm going to pick up as much of this stuff as I can before I move on. There's a load of credits over here, but right in the middle of an area which looks a bit like a problem. So some interceptors before they come along. Let's see what we can do. we got a shield. Have we got enough to upgrade it? We have. And we're going to have two upgrades to the shield. Hopefully that gives me some... Uh, we don't want to move that, no. Okay, time extender mark two, combat drone. Right, now I would need to move them around, I guess. Or well, maybe I can make them active. Are they active? No. Nope. How do I make them active? Use equip. There we go. Right, so they're still on key C and when these combat. Car interceptors just jumped in. I recommend evasive moves. Yeah, you okay. Say I run from a fight? It's all the same to me. But we might get to our destination sooner if you know when to bow out. No, we're not going to go until I know just how oh, damaging these people are. Man, they are damaging. Let's do a quick repair. Huh, no, you don't like it. I don't like it either when it goes down like that. I didn't repair, did I? Can't I repair? Oh, I've got no nanobots, damn it. Right, um, there you are. Just about to ask, where are you? Where are you? We're gonna finish you off now. So this gun does seem to do quite a nice bit of extra damage. One missile to finish him off. Two missiles, actually. The second one exploding in the middle of nowhere. What is that? Yeah, that's time to get out of here, I guess. Still needs to cool down. Ah, damn it. And I was doing so well there, wasn't I? I thought I was going to get a lot further into the uh, second sector there. So that's one of the problems when you hang around too long in a particular zone. You will face ever-increasing toughness of enemies, apparently. Or at least it seems that way. Right, and let's jump in here and...
buy some perks. Only just bought some nice jeweled upgrades there as well, which of course are now lost. These here, these perks are the permanent upgrades. So we've got a nice increase to shield capacity there. Shield shut down, shield recharge. What do I want to spend my money on? How much does that cost? Well, I can afford that. Then I've got efficiency jump drive. Not too worried about any of this. Rare loot chance increase. Not too worried about that just yet. Hull hit points. Probably could do with a slight increase, but to be honest, I'd rather the uh, shield not go down. What do you reckon then? Hull hit points or shield? I'm going to increase shield capacity. There we go. All right, 500 credits left. A sense of range increase. Sector scanner. Max speed. Uh, yeah, let's have some increased speed. Oh, I haven't got enough money for that, have I? It's a shame. What does this enable me to do? The amount of different primary weapon systems your ship can carry. Yeah, why not? And we've got 300 credits left, so surely I can spend it on something here. Let's have it on this. Credit loop bonus. Right, we're good to go again. Let's see what happens this time. So, there's a balance, like I say, between hanging around in a zone and uh, getting Perhaps out of that zone. Make an improvement on our last run. I yeah. Intend to. You said that last time, and unfortunately I didn't um, do quite as well as I thought. There's some challenges over to the side. They didn't quite catch them. Let's get straight out of this zone. I don't intend on hanging around here too long. I'd like to get into a deeper sector. So what way do we want to go? Let's just go that way. So Everspace is still in early access. Went into early access just just a few weeks ago. Shield down already. Some of the some some of those weapons are so powerful. I'm trying to shield myself behind this. Uh, I'm losing count. Uh, come on, let's get him. Uh, he's gone. Credits are merely numbers to me. Uh, well, not a good start, was it? Okay, so I think that's everything. We haven't got any nanobots to repair yet. Shame to be damaged so early in. So some of the weapons really are very, very powerful on in terms of what the enemy can actually carry. And you'll notice that there's a wide variety of that. Some of the enemies carry weapons that barely scratch your shield. As other ones right off the bat can do a lot of damage, so I guess that's the RNG nature of uh, this particular area of the game. I was just wondering there what that is. Plasma field. Let's get that while I'm here and then we'll jump again. See how far we can get on a bit of a speed run. Not a full of a speed run, but a somewhat semi speed run. But of course, we use a quarter of our tank on every jump here, so. We're also going to need to try and find some fuel along the way, probably. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe we're about to get to the jump gate. Without worrying too much about that. Although I wouldn't like to be able to repair a little bit. Let's get the ore. And maybe there's some containers over to the left there, if I'm lucky. Oh no, they're fighters. Sad every time, but the destruction on those... Asteroids feels really rewarding when we shoot them up. Right, is there any, uh, some hostiles? I'm not going to run from you. We will see how will I do against you. Out range. Yep. And there you can see the Outlaw Scout, his weapon's really not very good against my uh, shields. It's because they're a bit kinetic, somewhat one, like what I'm using here. I just prefer to use the um, 
Gatling gun, even though the pulse laser is probably better against their shields. You can see that, that guy's Gatling gun, his kinetic weapon wasn't doing much damage against my own shields. So, yeah, that probably does confirm that. I could do with putting some more hull hit points onto my ship in future runs once we get some more money. We're going along nicely here at the moment. And this one should be the jump gate yet again. And I'm going to jump straight through it, I think, rather than hang around. This is bad. And you can see there that, again, with the... Um, those energy weapons are deadly against your... Uh, deadly against your shield. I'm wondering whether I was going to make it to the jump gate here. And I've got to sit here for a few seconds there. So I'm running a bit there. But that's because I want to get to the second sector here. And you can see this looks different to the previous leave. Where I was in the orbit of the planet, more or less. Here we've got a nice ringed planet. Let's see what these are like. Got them. It's right there, we're not going to get them, but we've got a lot more uh, incoming. Let's see if we got enough to do a bit of repairing. Fortunately, we can. And there it goes. Right. So, some outlaws over there. Some more outlaws. Let's get these nanobots. This area really just seems to be chock full of enemies, doesn't it? I love the way the light come, the sun come that asteroid there. I don't know what that jolt was. Looks almost like I, almost like I hit something. Jumping signal suppressed by 48%. Is, could that be because of these guys? Wow, look how quick his shields come back. Definitely need some more powerful weapons here or to be a bit more efficient in my usage of them. Are they fighting each other? Don't quite... Outlaw Scout and Okar Fighters. Okay, so they're different to each other. Some mines. Not nice. So where's the exit node here? Are they suppressing it there? Jump in and suppress. Signal only at fifty. See, it's slowly getting and slowly disappearing. Have I got to get out their route, out their uh, range? Do you think? Yeah, the further away I get from them, the see the uh, signal suppression reducing down. So at the moment, I just want to see what these areas are like rather than make too much headway in the terms of combat and so on. I'd like to get a bit further in just to get an idea and a feel for some of these zones. I'm wondering if we can get any closer to these rings here on this uh, planet. Uh, well, that's not going to work either, so probably we've got Why to destroy this. This? this is to highlight a superior fighter. It will be harder to take down. We'll have to see about that. No, oh, well, the others were hard enough to take down as it was. Where did those um, GMP fighters go? Not GMP fighters, the old car fighters. Where have they gone? So what's that? It's something a bit different looking, isn't it? Surrounded by mines, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful on the approach there. Oh, 
Oh, it's well protected here, isn't it? The trouble is I can't strafe around it too much with um, all these mines nearby. Alright, that's that out of the way. Now, you can generally get quite close to these mines before they'll actually detonate. Right, we can take some fuel from that. I'm not sure what this actually is. But we're hacking it. Jump suppression removed. Ah, so that's what that's about. You never learn. We've still got to get past the, these mines to get back out. I wonder what happened to the other fighters. Looks like they ended up taking each other out, doesn't it? Okay. Further in we go. Oh, right into a storm. We do not have enough fuel on board for the next jump. Ah, I better find some. And we're way out the way of that ringed planet, whatever that was. Okay. So we're gonna have to use a scan probe here because we need to find some fuel. Hopefully, and there will be something like that around here. Generally, that appears in the form of. Hostiles are targeting us. You have drawn the attention of hostiles. Don't worry, we're gonna take them out. Oh, not with their so easy with their beam weapons. your life support system was damaged and you're running out of oxygen, you can repair it via the in-game repair menu. If you don't have the required resources on board, try to gather them quickly before it's too late. Well, it looks like it's too late anyway. Doesn't it? These fighters... So it's generally, it's not always um, any one particular fighter, rather it's the weapon they're carrying, and... I don't need oxygen, you know. What? Your life support system is still damaged. Yes, 95%, 94%, not too worried just yet. So where do I repair that anyway? Oh, I see. Huh. I was too busy repairing my hull and left all the nanobots for that, but there's plenty of time left yet, I hope. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Boom. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in or around this big rock here. Just thought you'd try again. It might be worth it. I'm taking damage! They do sneak up on you, those fighters, don't they? Right, so I've got a bit too close to some turrets here, apparently. Which is what's causing me some trouble. Wish those turrets would take out these, though. They really do. Phew. Look at that. Gone again. Tough old game. If any of you got any tips and tricks on this, I'd love to hear from you, that's for sure. So back to the hangar again. We'll spend some perks, I think, and then we'll hang out for the next video. Uh, perks. What do we got? Just a thousand credits to spend. I don't think... No, just a little bit short of spending it on hull hit points, unfortunately. Let's just upgrade the sector scanner. Why not? Since the range is too expensive, max speed a little bit short. I 
Oh, look at that. Five credits short of that. So it looks like you're getting to the point where most upgrades are getting a little bit more on the expensive side. Oh, we can buy that. Let's have another weapon slot then. We still need a few more uh, credits in that though to actually unlock it. So then, now that brings us to the end of this video. Like I say, if you've got any uh, tips and tricks on how to help me out or suggestions on combat, I'd love to hear them. You know, pretty much find out what my combat skills are like in these games. But nonetheless, a fun game. Great game to get into. But I'm looking forward to getting out of Sector 2 and into Sector 3. And as I mentioned earlier on in the video, there is now a Patreon page available. If you don't mind taking a look at that, Please do have a look to see what that's all about. I'll be back very soon with some more videos. On Monday will be an Elite Dangerous one. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.